Hello everyone, Brian here with another Prototech Tip. Today, we're going to talk about corner radius for CNC machining. If you're an engineer, scientist, or innovator in need of CNC machine parts, we'll help you get your project completed. We CNC machine your parts in two to three days with no minimum order. I've already covered the basics of CNC machining in a previous Prototech Tip video. But today we're going to go beyond those basics and dive into the details of corner radius and CNC machining. Anytime you're manufacturing custom metal products, the tools and processes used will place certain limitations on your design. One of those limitations is, of course, what size parts can be milled. But beyond that, another important consideration is what corner radii are possible. So why is it important to consider this? Well, there's three reasons. The corner radii you choose is going to dramatically impact the speed at which your part can be machined, the cost of your project, and the overall quality of the surface finish. Corner radius is derived from extending the corner arc in order to form a complete circle. The larger the radius, the more rounded the angle. When you're designing a part to be CNC machined, take into consideration that our team will have to determine the ideal tooling and the path that that tooling will take to achieve the corner radius you selected. Tooling will determine the possible radii for your design. Larger tools will produce faster cuts and can reach greater depths, but they will increase the size of your radii. It is generally not possible to achieve a perfectly sharp internal corner radius when CNC machining because every tool has a cylindrical shape. We can achieve a smaller corner radius by using tools with a smaller radii, but just because we can do this doesn't mean it's always a good idea. Using a smaller tool is going to limit the depth you can machine. This is because generally, the length of a tool decreases as the diameter decreases. Additionally, smaller tools are less stiff, especially as they increase in length. Toolpath is another aspect that determines internal corner radii in respect to your design and the corner radii you've chosen. Something to note, if the tool reaches the corner and turns at a 90 degree angle, it will greatly increase the engagement between the tool and the material. In turn, this increases the loading on the tool. Take this simulation, where the red line indicates the tool path and the sections highlighted yellow represent the areas of the part where the tool is engaged with the material. In the first example, the tool path is 90 degrees and there is a wide yellow area for tool engagement. But the second simulation shows a more rounded tool path and the yellow area gets a lot smaller. That means the tool is engaging less with the material, which will make the quality of the surface finish much better. The more the tool engages with the material, the higher the chance of having blemishes and chatter marks. This stress causes the tool to vibrate as it cuts, and in turn, causes the tool to disengage and re-engage repeatedly. In the worst case scenario of using a tool path that is too sharp, the tool will break altogether from the stress. Additionally, the larger the radii, the faster the machine can move through the cut, as the machine acceleration will factor less into the limitations of the cutting speed, meaning, Sharper turns require more machine acceleration and therefore more slowdowns. Our website has a helpful chart that lists the minimum radius and the recommended minimum radius for internal features based on their depth. Wherever possible, you should choose at least the recommended minimum radius as it allows us to use the ideal tooling and tool path in order to create that radius. This in turn will have a dramatic effect on your surface quality and cost. So, to sum everything up, Choose the largest radii possible for your design's internal features based on our charts. By doing this, you will allow us to select larger tools to machine your part faster. The less time it takes to machine your part, the lower your cost will be. Also, keep in mind that choosing the largest radii for your part's internal features will allow for the best surface finish. If you have any questions on CNC machining, check out the CNC page on our website or the previous tech tip video on the basics of CNC machining. Thanks for watching this tech tip. See you next week.